What happens when you mix uncontrollable rage? Marty, shut up! I have had enough of your antics! Narcissism. I figured I'd just come in, kick it with y'all, figured since I'm making it big time. And a loose grasp on reality. Well, you get one of the most trolled locales in internet history. Hi, I'm the Internet Anarchist. I create weekly YouTube documentaries, and today, we'll be diving into the long and tragic story of Chance Wilkins, aka Cyrax, an online personality whose enormous ego, vile tendencies, and lack of self-awareness brought on a never-ending wave of criticism and trolling from everyone on the internet. Cyrax created his first YouTube channel, DJ Shadowblade, in 2009. On the channel, he would upload short music videos anime montages, and footage of various activities like skateboarding or drumming. Sarix had a different persona back then, focusing more of the dream of being a professional musician, a dream that he felt like he would never achieve due to his appearance. Yeah, I'm 27 and I'm only 5'3". And when I was born, I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. And you know, growing up through school, you know, I did get picked on. I got bullied way more than most. I got judged. Fortunately for Cyrex, someone did try to see potential in him. In late 2012, a partial owner of Killer Cloud Sounds, Eric Scrubbolo, decided to sign Cyrex, which gave him the opportunity to try and make his music dreams a reality. An opportunity that he would proceed to waste by betraying the one person that believed in him. The relationship between the two would come to a bitter end in April of 2013, after Cyrex had stolen over. 10 songs from Eric, stole the name of his upcoming albums, and claimed he could do better. There is this bro. Deuces. This was one of the first instances of Cyrax showing his true colors. If he had the upper hand in any way, he'd make sure to abuse that power. Cyrax did address the falling out by making an apology video with his then girlfriend, Heather, but would only go on to talk about throwing the label's dog tags in a lake, and never mention the fact that he stole from him. Man and sauce. Listen. I know you're pretty upset about the whole dog tag thing and whatnot. Well, when we did the whole thing with the dog tags, it's because we were pissed off. We didn't know what the hell to do. We were, yeah. we were seriously just, we were only doing what my mom wanted us to do. She came up with the idea to throw them into the lake and at the time, it seemed like a good idea. And honestly, we regret it, man. We yeah, big time. At the time, there weren't as many eyes on Cyrax, so no one was there to hold him accountable. But that would completely change, as the internet got to see just how vile Cyrax acted when he wasn't on camera. On the 20th of March 2019, a creator by the name of Kendall Smith uploaded a video to her Facebook page calling Cyrax out as a child P-word. Kendall had attempted to befriend Cyrax on Facebook, but he misinterpreted it as someone being romantically interested in him. After Kendall rejected his advances, Cyrax did a complete 180 and began threatening her. Her. He found her address, contacted her landlord, and even harassed her on social media. Up until this point, only few people trolled Cyrax and viewed him as just another wannabe musician that steals music and artwork. But this was about to change completely, as Cyrax was about to exploit in notoriety, which we'll be covering just after this short break. This video has been sponsored by CyberGhost VPN. Have you ever logged onto public Wi-Fi feeling like you're in a spy movie, but missing the necessary tech to keep you safe? This is where our hero CyberGhost VPN saves the day. It envelopes your data in a cozy encrypted tunnel, like a digital version of a superhero cape. You're not sacrificing speed for security either. It's like having your cake and eating it, with extra frosting. CyberGhost VPN even helps you navigate past those pesky blocked online libraries of more than 40 streaming services. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and a bunch of others. One subscription covers you on up to seven devices, so you can even share with your family and friends. Think of it as a very affordable and very effective digital bodyguard. It works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, iOS, Android, smart TVs, and even gaming consoles. CyberGhost VPN is like the Switzerland of operating systems compatibility. With an audience size of over 38 million users, that's more than the population of Canada just saying, and a 5-star rating on Trustpilot as vouched for by 16,000 users, you can join this group for just $2 per month. That's right, less than a cup of coffee per month. Click on the link in the description to grab this ghostly deal before it disappears. Now back to the video. Now that accusations of online misdeeds involving 
involving children and stalking were thrown into the mix, people began taking a closer look, and what they found was nothing short of disgusting. Back in January of 2017, Cyrex admitted to having conversations with an 11 year old boy that he claimed was a fan. A lady in Ohio, he's 11 years old, he's an amazing kid, he's been listening to my stuff for a while now. So Nicholas, if you're watching this buddy, Welcome, man. Um, I just want to take the time to say welcome. I appreciate what you did. And I want you all to see this. This is how amazing this kid is. Even if he was just a fan, this proved that Cyrix did indeed interact with minors on the platform, which made Kendall's warning ever more alarming. In a new deleted video, Cyrix attempted to dismiss the accusations, and tried to frame Kendall as the one going after children. Projecting his own wrongdoings onto others was a common tactic Cyrix used to deflect criticism, and on the 4th of April 2019, Kendall decided to put an end to the drama by contacting law enforcement and completely cutting him off. It's not the truth, because look how many videos you've made in the last hour. The FBI is watching, and this is petty and getting annoying. But the next video you make, I suggest you be careful who you post it to, because the, the government officials, the FBI's, are... How do I put this? They're, they're really getting tired of this. This proved ineffective, ultimately forcing her to fake her own death. Cyrex continued to make videos about Kendall, but he would soon move on to a different target. As the allegations and ensuing drama attracted the attention of a creator that would make it his mission to expose Cyrex. In October 2019, Music Biz Marty, or just Marty, began following Cyrex's antics and went on to form a rather strange relationship with Cyrex. A significant portion of Marty's career is based on pranking or trolling Cyrex, which can often be viewed as bullying. Bullying. Such as the numerous times that Marty tricked Cyrax into believing that a record label was going to sign him, setting him up with a fake girlfriend, or even showing up to his home in Akron, Ohio. And the lights are on. Is this what you want, a chance? That's how I want it. I hope you feel like a big man. Hello. How are you? Who are you? Uh, this is actually Marty, uh, Chance's friend. He invited me over here. Uh, no, he didn't. He, he definitely did. Hello, is that Ed? How's it going, Ed? I don't know you. No, no, not not formally. What are you, what are you doing? Chance invited me over here. Oh, yeah, right. He did, he did, he did. I was hoping we could resolve things. Uh, I don't believe that. Well, go and ask him. Despite the trolling, Marty has been able to uncover the more sinister side of Cyrax, a side that would normally go unnoticed. Behind all the rage and arrogance, Cyrax was the type of individual to prey on the innocent or naive. Marty, as well as other individuals, recorded and documented several instances of Cyrax messaging and sending minors indecent pictures and videos of himself. The allegations brought forward by Candle gained a lot of legitimacy, since her viewers had the opportunity to witness just how dangerous Cyrax really was. Whenever he got caught red-handed, Cyrax resulted to his usual tactic of shifting blame, projections, and raging at trolls. These people have had National Mafia pretend to be an 18-year-old female, send me a picture and then claim to be underage. These people have made up all kinds of screenshots and conversations and used my voice to create an AI voice clone of me to make it look like I was saying shit that I wasn't saying. And it's not right. It's fucking sickening what these people have done. In the cases where that didn't work, Cyrax turned to trying to make people feel sorry for him by playing as the victim. Unfortunately for Cyrax, this would ultimately backfire, and end up unearthing a disturbing incidents that took place years before he'd even started YouTube. In one of his many attempts to manipulate viewers, Cyrax claimed that he was assaulted during his time at high school. As I said, my entire life, I was bullied, I was picked on, I was beat up, I was degraded, I was... Hungry for answers, one of the trolls pretending to be his online girlfriend asked him to elaborate on what really happened. Yeah, like, unfortunately, when I was 16 to 17 years old around that time period, um, I was actually 
trafficked by one of my best friends from high school. Um, now at the time, I didn't know that he was gay. Um, I had actually met this kid, um, his name was Billy Siler. We had gone to the same high school together. Um, and me and him grew really, really close. We were super cool with each other. And at first, like, I didn't take him as gay. Like, I just took him as, you know, being, you know, that weird kid in high school that's just like really strange and like an oddball kind of person. Cyrex claimed that it was expelled once school became aware of the incident, despite him being the quote, victim. On the surface, it seemed as if Cyrex was powerless in the situations, but the viewers weren't buying it. He stated that the expulsion was due to a six month age difference between them, but these claims fall apart when you realize that they were both minors at the time. Things get even worse when you take into account that Billy was legally blind. It didn't take long for Marty to find and get in touch with the blind Billy to hear his side of the story. Cause this was during the night um, that it happened. We were up in my room, you know, it was late at night. I think I was searching for something. And the next thing I know is I'm in a doggy style position and basically my, my pants and underwear come off or at least down to the ankle. Sarek had once again twisted the facts to gain sympathy from his viewers, but this time it didn't end well for him. He had assaulted someone who saw him as a friend and wanted people to feel sorry for him. Oh, my name's already been cleared, dude. My name's been cleared for fucking years. For fucking years since it happened, my name got cleared. We spoke to the school, we spoke to the police, they know what Billy did. They know what Billy did, that's why they removed me from that school because of what he did, so it didn't happen to me again. That's why they did what they did. Throughout his life, Sarex had always tried to manipulate and take advantage of any and everyone he's ever come into contact with. This toxic pattern extends into his relationship with his family and the few friends he managed to make over time, individuals that he claims to love and protect. There's a long list of times when Sarex has been physically abusive to his so-called loved ones. In February 2012, Sarex was arrested for strangling his grandmother and primary caretaker, Sally. Sarex Sarex claimed that he was blacked out during the incident, and luckily for him, Sally didn't press any charges. On the 4th of February 2020, Sarex went onto one of Marty's streams and revealed how toxic his relationship was with his then girlfriend Heather. Sarex, I can't even talk to her like a normal person. What? Hush! Hit me and I'm gonna fucking knock your eyes out. <gasps> Jamie, you are fucking like you right there. Violin, you, you need to go home, Heather. I would not come here. I swear I'll to God. I'll have Heather come here. No, I'm no. done with this. I'm done no, with this, no, Iraq. No, no, I am no, done. I will pay for her to come here. I have three life. extra rooms here. She does not need to put no, up with this here. at all. You better back away Show from her right the fuck now. Shut the fuck up. Back the fuck away from her. She asked you to leave her alone. Back away from her. Show up. Back away from her. Stop. There have also been times when Sarex has cheated on his partner by sending inappropriate pictures to minors on the internet, but even with that being said, he wouldn't take any accountability for it and claimed one of his ex-girlfriends hacked his phone. I want you guys to know that she did go to jail. Tiffany did go to jail for her hacking crimes. How much time she's serving, I don't know. Cause I'm not there so I can't really, you know, say. Many of the women that have been around Cyrax were only there due to his reputation or seemingly promising record deal. This was the case with his second girlfriend, Heather, who left her family when she thought Cyrax was getting a record deal, a decision that she would later regret. Cyrax has never once taken responsibility for his actions and instead opts to play the victim card, a habit that he doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Currently, Cyrax has never bothered to get a stable job and claims it's due to people trolling him. This becomes hard to believe when you take into consideration that Marty has tried to get Cyrex's job in the past. Cyrex seems to prefer the status quo of his grandmother taking care, while he blames people on the internet for all of his problems. On the 13th of April 2023, Cyrex tried to deflect criticism by blaming a troll and AI for the videos of his deplorable acts and current living conditions. These people have made up all kinds of screenshots and conversations and used my voice to create an AI voice clone of me to make it look like I was saying shit that I wasn't saying and it's not right. It's fucking sickening what these people have done. Cyrex has shown that his online appearance and perceived status matter more than anything else. Even his grandmother being in hospital due to a stroke comes second to shutting down the trolls. Subscribe if you enjoyed.